everything you know about entropy is wrong. Wrong? Okay, not everything. But the basics that you were taught have confused people for too long. I'm going to clarify it. Entropy. There are two kinds of things that we talk about when we talk about entropy. And they're both related, and they both increase with life. Life increases entropy. It's not this negantropy silliness. Life is the peak of entropy. Okay, entropy starts off as boring. Entropy starts off as a thing. An evenly divided, boring, simple, bland, universal thing. That's, that's the beginning of entropy. That's low entropy. And then what happens is that this stuff, this, this sim single unitary thing, divides. It divides into two things. That's less entropy. I mean, that, that's less boring. That's higher entropy. These things are fractional, though, remember. Entropy split this one thing up. There was one thing, and now there are two things. So, and, and then what happens is it splits these up again. It splits the things up again. And, and then there are three things. Three different things. So it gets fractional. The universe is, is still the same amount of stuff. There's the same amount of matter and the same amount of energy. That's what I'm using the different colors for. This is matter and this is energy. There's the same amount of matter, same amount of energy in the universe. So these things essentially shrink, but I'm not showing that with this. This is just to give you an idea of the patterns of entropy. So this is the same amount of stuff. It's just, it gets cut up into smaller pieces. Okay, so that's the basic thing with entropy. And the, the more time goes on, the more pieces we have in the universe. You know, as time goes on, this, this, this simple boring stuff gets split up into more and more parts. Again, this is fractional. It's the same amount of matter and energy, these are just smaller parts. So that's an increase in entropy. We have more fractions of the whole. So first we had Apologize. Apologies for the noise. These are possibly the most annoying noises. So initially we had one thing, and then we had two things. And then we had three and four and five and six. So that's an increase in entropy. We had these boring, simple things, and then we just increased the entropy by dividing it up into more and more pieces. So that's an increase in entropy. And that increases complexity. And I'm going to show you another element of entropy that increases complexity, which is, let's say we have three different things. We have three different things um, that we've, this, this is now in the categories of things. So not the whole universe, this is some subset of the universe. Imagine this is just part of the universe that we're looking at. Say this is, we're going to describe how about an atom? An atom, okay, this isn't technically an atom, but imagine we're gonna describe something that has three different elements to it. An increase in entropy means an increase in the amount of possibilities of combinations of those things. So we could have, let's see if I can do this, okay, we can have three things, three different things, something that's made up of three different parts. We can have something that is matter, matter, matter. Or we'd have something that is matter, matter, energy. It's still three parts, but it's a slightly different variation on those beats, parts. Or we could have matter, energy, energy. Or we could have energy, energy, energy. And of course, we can have those things in different orders, so it could be energy, energy, matter, or energy, matter, matter, 
and of course we back to the starting one which is the same thing same order so when we increase the number of possible elements in something the number of parts we increase its energy so if we suddenly say instead of three things we have four things four possible things we can have matter 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 we can have matter 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 energy we can have matter matter energy energy matter energy 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 and matter I mean and then energy 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 and we can rearrange these things so if we have one matter and three energies this can be here can be here or can be here and so things that things which are non-reversible um, let's say our DNA for example you can't mix around our DNA and have it come out the same so if we have because there, there are four different elements of DNA there's what is it C T G and A are the letters um, and technically they go together so sort of the really only two letters like C T and G A or something I can't remember which goes with which um, but they have to go together so essentially there are only two of them um, and we could say that CT is uh, matter and well, black and GA or whatever it is the second one is, is red and so we would have two different combinations um, you can't reverse those if you put in CT GA it's different from GA CT or whatever so when you have a number of different possible combinations of things that have to go in a certain order you get you get a higher entropy get a higher this is another it's not exactly the same meaning for entropy but we, we use both of these to mean <laughs> when we describe entropy when you have more um, for example there is only one possible reversible combination there's only one possible order to four of these things it can only ever go black 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 it can only ever go in that order there's no other order so there's only one so that is low entropy there's only one possible combination of these things but if we have of each this is the peak number of combinations so we can have black black red red we can have black red black red we can have black red red black we can have red black red 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 black black so that's a lot of combinations compared to that first one and if we have three things, it's kind of in between. So this can go here, 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 or here. So there are fewer combinations that way. So the peak entropy is when we have an even, or nearly even, as close to even as possible, if there are an even number. And if there aren't an even number, it's, you know, the two, both of them are the same. Both this set of combinations and this set of combinations would give you the same level of entropy. Um, so it's the closest to the even number, equal number. So that is the peak entropy for four different things. So there are two kinds of entropy. There's the kind of entropy where we just keep adding more parts. We just keep dividing up the whole into smaller and smaller parts and recombining them to make more complex combinations like we saw we could when you only have one thing you can only make one combination when you have two things you can make uh, I think it's four combinations red black 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 and black red, red black whatever <laughs> and then red red um, and then when you have four things you have a whole lot more it's actually um, I think it's the number to the 
to the second power. Um, something like that. Um, so there are two different kinds of entropy. There's the kind of entropy where we're just increasing the number of divisions that we make, the number of parts that we're taking the universe into. So initially, the universe was just one whole thing. It was everything and nothing all at the same time. And then the universe split into two different things, matter and energy. And then, the new, and then matter and energy split up and recombined into three different things. Not four, but three different things. And we had matter, 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 energy, matter, energy, energy, and energy, 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 so three. Um, and then four different things. And th so that's an increase in entropy as time progresses. We always are increasing ener entropy by literally adding another division to the universe. That's what I think. That's my theory about the universe. Um, and then there's also the increase in entropy, which is the sort of middle equal numbers of things because we can have the most sequential patterns if, if it's not, you know, if it matters whether it's energy first and matter second, if the order matters, then we have more entropy when you have an even number of things. So for example, life. Life is part matter and part energy. It's not pure energy, it's not just pure light. It's not even close to like a sun giving off pure light. Uh, we don't give off that much energy, but we are made of energy and we're made of matter. We're sort of a little bit of both. We move, but we're also solid. So that's why life is another high entropy thing because we have about equal amounts of matter and energy into us, in us. So we can combine those in the most complex patterns. So that's high energy. I mean, that's high entropy. Low entropy would be like a rock, which is all matter, or almost all matter. Rocks are very simple. This, this glass right here, low entropy. It's boring. It doesn't do much of anything. It's pretty much all matter. Right now it's giving off a little bit of light because it's getting reflected, but the glass itself is low entropy. Whereas life, high entropy. And because entropy continues to increase, over time as the universe grows, that just means there can be more and more and more life. And life is going to get weirder and more complex and more variation. You know, we're going to see this and we're going to see this. Oops, sorry, not that. <laughs> we're going to see this. All different forms, all of the different possible patterns of life that can exist, will exist. I mean, there's some that can't. I mean, some some patterns just don't function. Um, you know, like I said, if you mix up your your DNA in a different order, it's not going to function. But there is a huge amount of variability in your DNA that can function, can vary, and you can mix it up, and it's still life. So all the possible combinations are going to be tried by the universe. And natural selection weeds out the ones that don't work very well in the whole system of things. And that increases the diversity and collaboration of life. The more, um, because natural selection weeds out the stuff that doesn't work in the whole system, the increase in entropy means that life just gets weirder, it gets better, it gets more collaborative, it gets more creative, and it continues on indefinitely because there is no reason for it to stop because of entropy it just keeps adding more complexity and more complexity is entropy so I challenge you to think about this because the way people continue to think about entropy is it's not just wrong it's backwards because it actually doesn't help people understand why life exists you know we think well Life must be this neg entropy stuff. No, life is peak entropy. That's why it exists. The boring stuff is in the beginning. The future is more complex, more detailed, like, a, like zooming in on a fractal. Yes, there may be more space. There may be more empty space between life things. But life itself is just going to keep getting more fractal and more weird. 
And that's because of entropy. And this is entropy. Two things of entropy. First, we just increase the number of things, and then we increase the and then we increase the um, the equality, the evenness of the patterns because that increases the the sequential possibilities. So that increases entropy. Those two kinds of entropy that we talk about. Okay. Does that make any sense? Does that, does that challenge your notions? Let me know in the comments, or on my blog, or on my email. My email is thewiseturtle at gmail.com. And you can also find me on Reddit under Turl, username Turl, T-U-R-I-L, that's me. And uh, yeah, I hope this um, gives some people something to think about because it makes way more sense than pretty much anything anybody else has been saying about entropy and life and why it exists. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.